What's up everybody, my name's Dan and welcome to my channel. Harvesting resources is pretty much the name of the game in 7 Days to Die, and you use tools to harvest those resources. So in this video we'll be learning how to craft tools in 7 Days to Die Alpha 19. So to start off, I have every tool in the game other than the sledgehammer, the nail gun, and the claw hammer in my pack. And I have them categorized by what they collect. So at the top here we have wood, then parts, then earth, then ore, then animals. And I have them categorized by what they're made of. So first we have primitive, then iron, then steel, and then motor. So I'm not going to delve too deep into the primitive tools because they're really basic. But to start we have the stone axe, which is two stone two plant fibers and two wood and then we have the stone shovel which is five stone three plant fibers and three wood and then finally we have the bone knife which is just five bones now the axe is used to collect wood from trees and buildings and the shovel is used to collect dirt and the bone knife is used to collect animal resources um you can use the axe to collect dirt it's just not going to work nearly as well and you can use the shovel to collect wood Obviously, once again, it's just not going to work as well. Next, we move on to the iron tools. So to craft these, you're either going to have to spec some perk points into them or find the schematic. The shovel, the axe, and the pickaxe are all unlocked by minor 69er underneath the strength attribute. The knife is unlocked by deep cuts underneath the agility attribute and the wrench is unlocked through the salvage operation perks underneath the perception attribute. So I wanted to take this opportunity and briefly talk about the level of the item indicated by the bottom here. So we have a level four steel shovel. This number determines the stat bonuses that the item will get. So the higher the number, the higher the stat bonuses. Now I wanted to say this is also kind of random though, because if you look, I have the same level steel shovel and it's giving me different stats. The level of axe, pickaxe, or shovel you craft is determined by minor 69er. You can craft all the way up to quality five tools. There is quality six tools that you can't craft. This also works the same for the knife category with deep cuts and the same for the wrench category with salvage operations. I also wanted to quickly note that what the tool is made of and the level have nothing to do with the yield. They just have to do with how much damage you do to whatever you're hitting. So you'll see right here, I'll collect about 25, 27 wood from that one. And I should collect just about the same with this. So about 26 wood with that. So other than the wrench, all of the iron tools are crafted with forged iron, duct tape, wood, and leather. The wrench is crafted with forged iron, mechanical parts, and duct tape. So I already have a video on how to craft duct tape and mass. So if you haven't seen that, that should pop up somewhere on the screen right now. And wood is everywhere. So to start off, we're really going to focus on the leather and the forged iron. The mostly non-lethal way to collect leather is to go into POIs, collect it in the form of couches, leather chairs, and certain clothing will actually scrap to uh, leather as well. But really, your best source of leather is going to be your animals. Now, the bigger the animal, the more leather you're going to get. So really your best source of forged iron is going to be making it yourself in a forge with 12 iron and 6 clay. But if you're going to collect it, you can find it in places like weight benches, like safes, like workbenches, and destroyed cement mixers. So now we move on to the steel tools. All the tools from this point on can only be crafted at a workbench and can only be crafted after finding a schematic. The axe, shovel, and pickaxe are unlocked by the steel tool schematic, and the ratchet is unlocked by the ratchet schematic. Now all of the steel tools are made with steel tool parts, forged steel, wood, leather, and duct tape, other than the ratchet, which is made with steel tool parts, forged steel, mechanical parts, springs, and duct tape. I also briefly wanted to mention with salvage operations, not only will it determine the level of wrench you craft, it also gives you 20% more resources and you'll harvest 20% faster. So if I spec into that right now, you'll see it'll start doing more damage to the car. Which is a perfect segue into collecting the mechanical parts you'll need for your wrench tools. You can collect mechanical parts from AC units, from beds, which also have springs. But in my opinion, your best source is going to be cars. Now this is also going to be really useful in finding the engines that you need make the motor tools which we're going to talk about right now now i'm sure i already know what you're saying 
But Dan, you didn't even talk about steel tool parts or forged steel. And to that I say, I'm getting there, you dingus. To craft motor tools, each one of them requires their own schematic. And to craft them, you need engines, you need forged steel, motor tool parts, and bicycle handlebars. For the impact driver, once again, the wrench class is different. They require motor tool parts, forged steel, mechanical parts, springs, and duct tape. Forged steel, much like forged iron, is best crafted at a forge, costing 30 iron and 15 clay to make one forged steel. But to make forged steel, that requires a crucible, which is unlocked through either a schematic or level 5 advanced engineering. So we'll focus on collecting it. Now I've found that munition boxes will always yield you forged steel, but there isn't a lot of them. And that the vending machines will always yield you forged steel, but make sure they aren't working. As you can see, I get shocked pretty bad, but ultimately your best source of collecting forged steel will go this way actually, our street lights. Now these are all over the place. Just right here was three of them. I didn't even have to place them down. And as you can see, I nerd pulled up, so I'll hop onto that, start collecting some forged steel. So for the motor and steel tool parts, I kind of wanted to do something different and take a dive into the XML files. Since you can't craft them, you can only find them or buy them. Now I'm not 100% sure how to read the XML files, but here at the top where I have it highlighted, I'm pretty sure that's defining what tool parts are. So where it says melee tool, all steel parts, and you see down here, root tools t2 it's defining all of those as tool parts as well as the chainsaw the auger and the steel sledgehammer now i wanted to correct myself real quick the machete is not crafted with steel tool parts it's actually crafted with machete parts which according to the xml files can be found in shotgun messiah crates and the steel tool parts and motor tool parts can be found in working stiff crates and toolboxes and rolling toolboxes now I'm sure there's more boxes than this you can find them in. I was solely using the XML files to determine where you can find them. So I think that sums up crafting tools in 7 days to die alpha 19. I hope this helps you get out there and collect resources like you've never collected them before. If I missed anything make sure to let me know in the comment section below. And if you liked the video or found it informative make sure to click that like button and consider subscribing for new 7 days to die content 2 times a week. I have a discord as well. I would love you guys to come hang out. Join out. I have a link to that and my other socials in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace.